George Blackwoods. Should be a comfortable enough clearance for Josh Laws. Soterio unable to make it stick. Turn in play from Kitto. And the Reds could have a promising situation brewing. Gets Goodwin into the near post and Mort got a little piece of it. Swept away by McGarry for now. And of course for handball. Quite stride at once too. They might have a look at that with uh, PAR. Daniel Elder waves away those appeals for now. Well, nevertheless, it was a brilliant chance for Stefan Moore because it's fallen to him. He can't give handball for that. It does make contact with the hand, but zero opportunity to get the arms out of the way. And as it then falls to Stefan Moore, it's a brilliant chance early for the Reds. Played four games off the bench. He, along with the rest, waiting for Craig Goodwin's delivery. Decent header away by Josh Laws, but uh, danger not completely cleared for the Knicks. Slung in by Kitto, deflected! Craig Goodwin has that first goal, and George Blackwood is claiming the final touch. And the Reds have the early advantage. Seven minutes played. Well, a very sleepy start. Six minutes for Wellington, Ufuk Tele not happy, but great stuff for Adelaide. And it's the man about whom we've been talking, Craig Goodwin, with the meaningful touch. George Blackwood is going to claim it. There'll be a stink in the dressing room over that. Trifle too high for Mork, who will pick up the scraps. Still Stefan Mork! And Alex Paulson with a fine save away to his left to palm it behind for the corner. Yeah, good action from the young keeper. Not 100% convinced it was actually going to sneak inside that post. And attacking at that back post was Jacob Tratt and Stefan Mork on the volley at the back post. Here's Kitto. Get away from one defender and uh, slides it into the path of Goodwin, who will tee up Isaias. Oh, that was travelling from the Spaniard. Managed to readjust, but he's turned it over for Goodwin. Here's Stefan Mork, and it's beaten away by Paulson. And they've delayed too long, the Reds. And Wellington survive. Good save by the young goalkeeper. Goodwin has Mork available. And they use it well. Oh, could have been two again. Craig Goodwin just lifted his shot over the top of the crossbar. It's a bit of a stretch for Kitto. Now there's uh, coming together just inside the penalty area. Daniel Alder says nothing doing. A bit more attacking intent here by the Phoenix. McGarry within shooting range. Reds got bodies in front of the ball. Now Bernardo to try and carry it forward on. The challenge has been missed by Tim Payne. He's quickly back goal side. And then down goes Blackwood in the box. They just want to have another look at this. Yeah, there's no contact on the ball. Which is a penalty. Well, there you go. Goodwin sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Has his first goal of the season. Assists for the first goal. Scores the second. And the Reds are almost there, you'd think, for the three points. Angle ball by Isaias. Bernardo, that's got to be a penalty. That's as clear as day. Similar sort of run-up. Opposite side, same result. 3-0 and a brace for Craig Goodwin. Well, it's a three-goal lead, good enough to really catapult Adelaide's season. Is it good enough, a Craig Goodwin brace to really get him going? I know one thing's for sure on the Harvey Norman replay. We'll be enjoying watching the career grow of Bernardo. Beautiful work from the youngster, an expert finish from the soccer Craig Goodwin. back although he can play actually I should say he's more naturally a midfielder but can play left back and has been in the absence of James McGarry well 80 minutes gone Adelaide fans will be comfortable that the team looks to have rebounded nicely nice work for Dukuli he's a talented player Dukuli and he's found the gap for Goodwin on a hat-trick, squares it up instead. And the block made by Tim Payne. 
to deny Stefan Mork and Adelaide a fourth. They still might get it. They do now. On the volley, Javi Lopez seals the deal. 4 0 for the Reds. And Wellington are again on the end of a bit of a pasting. Well, the dam officially is broken in favour of Adelaide and Stefan Moore. It's the story that's not been told in this Harvey Norman replay. That's the fourth time he's been denied from that sort of range. Ryan Kiddo's had a fine game, delivers the ball on the spot, and it's a thunderous finish. Really nicely timed run from Harvey Lopez, who pretty much got the attacking raids underway tonight early in that first half.